What is up guys, my name is Zor from Jeva, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a 5M server, really easy, I'm going to go in debt for beginners, and uh, I made this guide on GitHub, I'll put this link in the description, so uh, it, I try to go as much depth as I can go into it, but I'm uh, this is a terrible guide that I wrote, I recommend you use the proper 5M documentation for setting up a server, so, uh, I'll put these links in the descriptions, so uh, to get started, um, we're going to need the Visual C++ Redistributable. I already installed this, but I'll put this link in the description for you to download it. It's a really easy setup, so you shouldn't have any issues in that. So I'm just going to move that over there. So so the links, um, we're gonna, the first one, first link, I'll put all of these links in the description below. So the first uh, link we are here is the 5M server artifacts. So um, you're supposed to go on the latest where it says the latest date and download the server.zip but I was having troubles with uh, the, the last two so I'm just gonna click on November 4th for this you're supposed to just do the latest one I'm gonna click server.zip and it should just download that I'm on a slow uh, slow setup here so it's gonna take a little bit but it's doing that I'm gonna right click on my desktop and uh, create a new folder and I'm just gonna call it server remember what you call it because you're going to need it uh, in the future. So I'm going to click on server here um, and uh, I'm going to open up the zip file. You're going to need WinRAR for that or whatever you want to use for zip. So I'm going to control A and just move everything into the server. It'll just extract it in there. So that moved it in there. Uh, now the second thing we're going to need is um, we're going to need the CFX server data master. Uh, put this link in the description too. You're gonna just want to click on download, clone or download, and click uh, download zip. Just let that download there. So once that's downloaded, open it up in WinRAR again because it's a zip file, and drag this into your server folder where this messes. So uh, yeah, that should be there. And uh, now what you're gonna want to do is. Um, before we go, actually just go into the folder here and I'm going to click on view and uh, make sure file name extensions are clicked. Make sure that box is ticked so I have this ticked now and it'll just make your life easier. So I'm going to click right click in this folder, click new, and click on text document. I'm just going to call it, we're, we're going to call it server.cfg. Make sure it's called that. And um, I'm going to open it up with notepad just so it doesn't open up in VS. Um, and uh, what you're going to want to do is go to the the third link, the server.cfg, and just copy all of this. So you can just click this little copy button. And I'm going to paste that into this little file here. And uh, as you can see, that's all in there. Saved. Control S. I already did that. And uh, what the, the next step you're going to want to do is make a key for your server so it's actually registered. So go to the fourth link in the description. And um, I'm gonna here. I'll click sign out, and uh, you're gonna log in or sign up if you need to. I don't know what that whole process is, but it should be easy. Just sign in, and then what you're gonna want to do is um, click uh, click new new key or create a new key. I'm gonna call it uh, yeah. I guess we'll just call it tutorial. And uh, that's my IP right there. But if you don't know your IP, just literally just type in what's my IP on Google, and that's my IP right there. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna paste that in there, and um, it's a home hosted because I'm doing this on my home network. Like I'm not a robot. Just generate it, and so now I have this little key here. <coughs> Excuse me. I have this little key here, and I'm just gonna copy this. So I just double clicked on that. Copy that, and uh, into the server.cfg. Did not mean to close out. Uh, just scroll to the bottom and where it says SV underscore license key. This is the very bottom, by the way. Where it says change me, you're going to want to change it. So I'm just going to get rid of that and then paste the uh, key that we have there. So that's my key. I'm going to save that. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, close out of that. So now what we're going to want to do actually is to go back and we're going to need to create a new full or create a new bat file. And right click so what we're doing here essentially is creating a file that um, starts a server when we when we click on it start 
gonna call it starter dot bat. <coughs> so just uh, click enter and it should say it was a bat file. Right click and edit. And uh, what you're gonna want to do here is um, it's actually really simple. Um, actually, just type in cd. You're gonna need to copy me just a little bit up. I'll put this all in the description slash d. And this is where it gets um, a little tricky. So where wherever your directory is, um, which is this is my directory to the server folder. Actually, I'm gonna need the CFX folder. So just click right here on Windows Explorer and uh, copy that. So I'm gonna put that right there. That's that's that line. And then just click Enter. And then uh, what you're gonna need to do is go back actually and uh, copy this. It's just gonna copy that. And then uh, also put another slash there and do run.cmd. And then uh, plus exec server dot cfg so um as you can see that there there is a run dot cmd right here but you need to do all that and that should actually start up the server um make sure that this is probably different so don't worry about it i'm gonna close out of this i saved it already so uh where is it starter dot bat gonna click on this and as you can see uh was really fast it loaded in everything and you should see that the server has started um, key authentication succeeded welcome uh, all these resources have started and uh, yeah if um, that, that should that should work so I'm gonna show you how to actually connect to it because you need to forward the port and actually just to make this simple I'm gonna right click on starter.bat and then uh, click create shortcut so that's going to create a little shortcut that you can move literally anywhere you want. I'm going to rename it and just call it Start Server. So let's say if I were to restart the server, I'd close out of that and then I'd open that again. And boom, it just starts up without it you having to actually go into that folder and find that mess. So I'm just going to go into 5M here. Alright, so I am loaded in 5M. So to actually connect to your server, what you're going to want to do is click on Direct Connect. Since it's not port forwarded, um, I'm gonna type in uh, one night or localhost. So you can literally just type in localhost, and that should say your new FX server. I'll show you how to change that. In uh, I'll, I'll show you. So localhost, or you could do 127.0.0.1. I messed that up. Sorry. So yeah, that works too because that's localhost. So you can just click connect. I did join right there and I'm in this very blank server nothing going on here uh, there's a scoreboard if you click up arrow and that's kind of T is chat um, no one's really on the server because it's not forwarded or anything this is running on your private little network so if you had a little LAN party that probably would work